Welcome to Gospel Truth with Andrew Womack, celebrating 55 years of ministry. I grew up with the knowledge of God and the presence of God, but I knew I needed to know Him better. I've always thought of God as a harsh father. His teachings just really brought me back to, you know, knowing who God is and recognizing it. And now, here's Andrew. Welcome to our Monday's broadcast of the Gospel Truth. Today, I'm going to begin a brand new series talking about four basics of hearing God's voice. This is a new teaching I have out. It really replaces the teaching that I've done in the past on how to hear God's voice. And this is talking about four basic things. This little booklet right here is a freebie that we're giving to you. I wrote this recently, and uh, I just really think this is powerful. Did you know hearing God's voice is absolutely essential? Uh, God knows everything, and He not only knows you know, just wisdom about what to do right now, but He knows the future. And if we could get to where we hear God's voice, it would just transform our life. You know, over in John chapter 16, I believe it's verse 13, it says, When the Comforter, the Holy Spirit, has come, He will show you things to come. Think about how priceless this would be if you knew what was coming. And I can truthfully say that the Lord has spoken to me many times. One time He told me not to get on a plane and uh, not to go to a meeting, and the plane crashed and killed people that were on board. God has spoken to me about things that were coming against me. God has shown me things to do in advance, and I can, I can guarantee you that a tremendous amount of the success that I've seen in my life has been because I can hear the voice of God. This is just fundamental. And you know, the good news is that Jesus taught us that hearing His voice was not just for the elect or a select few, but it was for everybody. Let me start with these verses over here in uh, John chapter 10. And in verse 1, Jesus was speaking, and He says, Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that entereth not by the door into the sheepfold, but climbeth up some other way, the same as a thief and a robber. But he that entereth in by the door is the shepherd of the sheep. To him the porter openeth, And the sheep hear his voice, and he calleth his own sheep by name and leads them out. And when he puts forth his own sheep, he goes before them, and the sheep follow him, for they know his voice. And a stranger will they not follow, but will flee from him, for they know not the voice of strangers. Did you know Jesus spoke this, and he didn't say that this is the way it should be, it's the way it could be. But he said this is just the way that it is, that his sheep hear his voice and the voice of a stranger they won't follow. Did you know that the vast majority of Christians today would say that their experience doesn't match what Jesus says? The vast majority of Christians do not, on a consistent basis, hear God speak to them and show them things and warn them about things that are coming. You can tell that by the way that their life You know, to me, it's like some of these little robot things that we have that they just go until they hit something and bump into it, and then they back up and go around. And this is the way that most Christians live their life. They just are going their own way, and only when they run into a barrier, something doesn't work, well, then they'll say, oh, God, and they might have God speak to them then. But but they are just like a pinball machine that you launch that ball, and it just bounces off of things, and it just depends on what it hits and how it goes. That is not the way that God made for us to live our Christian life. He wants to speak to you. And Jesus said that if you are His sheep, you do hear His voice. And one of the things I'll be teaching throughout this series is that you hear God's voice and many times don't recognize what it is. Now, that may not mean much to you right now, but as we get further into this teaching, I'm going to show you how you can begin to discern God's voice. Let me just say this as a teaser that probably every person who is watching this program right now at some time or another has had a decision to make about choices, you know, what direction you're going to go, a choice you make about something, and you felt like you should do something, but logic, maybe money, maybe family, uh, you know, just all kinds of things forced you pretty much to make this decision. So you went with logic, you went with what everybody else said was wisdom, and when it didn't work out, and things crashed and burned. You came back and you said, I knew I wasn't supposed to do that. How did you know? 
THAT WAS THE VOICE OF GOD SPEAKING TO YOU. AND YET A LOT OF PEOPLE DON'T RECOGNIZE THIS AS THE VOICE OF GOD AND ONLY RECOGNIZE IT IN HINDSIGHT. WE CALL IT INTUITION. SOME PEOPLE WILL CALL IT ESP. THERE'S ALL KINDS OF THINGS. BUT ACTUALLY, GOD SPEAKS TO YOU THROUGH YOUR SPIRIT. THAT'S ONE OF THE WAYS THAT I'M GOING TO TEACH ABOUT IF YOU ARE BORN AGAIN, YOUR SPIRIT KNOWS GOD AND JUST INTUITIVELY KNOWS WHAT GOD WANTS YOU TO DO. I'LL BE EXPLAINING THAT IN A LOT MORE DETAIL. BUT GOD DOES SPEAK TO YOU, AND IT SAYS THE VOICE OF A STRANGER YOU WILL NOT FOLLOW BECAUSE YOU DON'T KNOW THE VOICE OF A STRANGER. AGAIN, THE AVERAGE PERSON'S EXPERIENCE IS THAT, MAN, IT'S EASY FOR YOU TO HEAR FEAR, DOUBT, UNBELIEF, UNFORGIVENESS, BITTERNESS, ANGER, ALL OF THESE THINGS THAT YOU KNOW YOU AREN'T SUPPOSED TO DO. MOST CHRISTIANS ARE VERY MUCH IN TUNE WITH THAT, AND THEY CAN HEAR THE DEVIL, THEY CAN HEAR THESE NEGATIVE THINGS EASILY, AND YET IT JUST SEEMS LIKE THAT THEY CAN'T HEAR THE VOICE OF GOD. THE TRUTH IS THAT IF YOU ARE BORN AGAIN, GOD IS SPEAKING TO YOU IN MIRACULOUS WAYS ALL OF THE TIME. I DON'T BELIEVE THAT THERE'S EVER A MINUTE OF ANY DAY THAT GOD ISN'T WANTING TO LEAD YOU AND GUIDE YOU. HE'S SPEAKING. IT'S NOT THAT GOD ISN'T TRANSMITTING. IT'S THAT WE AREN'T LISTENING. YOU KNOW, YOU COULD LIKEN THIS TO A RADIO STATION, THAT RADIO STATION, TELEVISION STATIONS ARE BROADCASTING 24 HOURS A DAY, BUT YOU AREN'T RECEIVING ALL OF THE TIME. YOUR SET ISN'T TURNED ON, AND SOMETIMES WHEN IT'S TURNED ON, YOU'RE TUNED TO A DIFFERENT STATION. THE PROBLEM IS THAT WE ARE NOT TUNED TO HEAR GOD'S VOICE. OVER IN PROVERBS CHAPTER 4, IT SAYS, MY SON, INCLINE THINE EAR TO MY SAYINGS. DID YOU KNOW THAT THAT'S NOT TALKING ABOUT TILT YOUR HEAD? <laughs> WHEN IT SAYS INCLINE YOUR EAR. THE ACTUAL WORD, IF YOU LOOK IT UP IN THE HEBREW OVER THERE IN, Pro in PROVERBS CHAPTER 4, IT'S TALKING ABOUT A HORSE OR A MULE, HOW THAT THEY PRICK UP THEIR EARS. YOU KNOW, I'VE HAD HORSES ALL OF MY LIFE, AND SOME OF YOU THAT AREN'T FAMILIAR WITH HORSES MAY NOT BE AWARE OF THIS, BUT A HORSE, THEIR EARS CAN JUST ROTATE, AND they, THEIR EARS ROTATE INDEPENDENT OF EACH OTHER, AND IF THEY HEAR A SOUND, THEY'LL JUST MOVE THEIR EARS OVER, THEY'LL FOCUS ON THAT AND RECEIVE THAT SOUND. THEY CAN HAVE THEIR EARS FORWARD AS THEY'RE WALKING ALONG AND YOU'RE ON THEIR BACK AND YOU SAY SOMETHING AND ALL OF A SUDDEN YOU'LL SEE THEIR EARS TILT BACK. WHAT THEY'RE DOING, THEY CAN AMPLIFY THE SOUND. THEY HEAR SOMETHING AND THEY TURN THEIR EARS SO THAT THEY CAN JUST ZERO IN ON THAT SOUND AND AMPLIFY IT. I SAW A THING ON AMERICA'S FUNNIEST VIDEOS uh, JUST SUNDAY NIGHT AND THEY SHOWED A DOG THAT WAS GETTING INTO THE SINK AND GETTING SOMETHING OUT OF THE SINK WHILE THE FAMILY WAS GONE, BUT THEY HAD ONE OF THESE MONITORS. I DON'T, YOU KNOW, I DON'T KNOW EXACTLY WHAT YOU CALL IT, BUT SOME KIND OF A MONITOR THAT THEY COULD SEE WHAT WAS HAPPENING. AND THIS WOMAN <laughs> STARTED TALKING TO THIS DOG ABOUT, PUT THAT DOWN. AND THAT DOG, MAN, IT JUST STOPPED AND IT PERKED UP ITS EARS AND YOU COULD SEE ITS EARS COME AROUND. AND THEN IT COULD SEE WHERE THE VOICE WAS COMING FROM. AND IT WAS JUST FUNNY, BUT ANYWAY, DOGS DO THE SAME THING. THEY PRICK THEIR EARS. SO THE POINT I'M MAKING IS GOD IS SPEAKING ALL OF THE TIME, BUT MANY TIMES WE'RE ON A DIFFERENT CHANNEL. WE AREN'T LISTENING TO GOD. I'M GOING TO SHARE WITH YOU HOW YOU CAN TUNE YOUR HEARING, HOW YOU CAN INCLINE YOUR EARS, PRICK YOUR EARS SO THAT YOU FOCUS ON GOD AND HEAR THE VOICE OF GOD. AND I TELL YOU, IF YOU GET TO WHERE YOU HEAR GOD, IT WOULD SOLVE THE VAST MAJORITY OF PROBLEMS. JESUS SAID THAT WE WOULD HAVE TROUBLE IN THIS WORLD, JOHN 16, 33. IN THE WORLD YOU SHALL HAVE TRIBULATION, BUT BE OF GOOD CHEER, FOR I HAVE OVERCOME THE WORLD. PAUL SAID, YEA, ALL THOSE WHO ARE GODLY IN CHRIST JESUS SHALL SUFFER PERSECUTION, 2 TIMOTHY chapter 3, VERSE 12. SO EVEN IF YOU'RE SEEKING GOD, YOU ARE GOING TO HAVE SOME PROBLEMS JUST BECAUSE WE LIVE IN A FALLEN WORLD AND PEOPLE WILL COME OUT AND ATTACK YOU. I'M NOT SAYING THAT YOU'LL NEVER HAVE A PROBLEM, BUT I'M SAYING THAT m MOST, I WOULD SAY THE MAJORITY OF ALL OF THE PROBLEMS THAT WE FACE COULD BE ALLEVIATED, COULD BE AVOIDED IF WE WERE TO JUST HEAR THE VOICE OF GOD AND LISTEN AND HAVE HIM SPEAK TO US. YOU KNOW, I HAD A SITUATION WHERE I HAD uh, FIVE HORSES THAT I WAS KEEPING ON A MAN'S PROPERTY, AND I FENCED THE PROPERTY FOR HIM, AND HE ALLOWED ME TO KEEP MY HORSES THERE, AND HE WAS A GREETER AT OUR CHURCH, AND EVERY TIME I WENT TO CHURCH, HE WOULD JUST TELL ME, MAN, I LOVE HAVING YOUR HORSES THERE. I DON'T HAVE TO MOW THE GRASS ANYMORE, AND uh, HE JUST LOVED IT. AND THERE WAS NO REASON FOR ME TO THINK THAT THIS GUY HAD ANYTHING EXCEPT THANKS FOR ME HAVING THOSE HORSES THERE. I WASN'T PAYING FOR IT, BUT HE WAS GETTING BENEFIT. I FENCED THE PROPERTY FOR HIM, AND I, 
and my horses mowed the grass for him. But anyway, as I was praying, and I'll, I'll deal with this in more detail as we go through this, the Lord just spoke to me from John 16, 13, and said He would show us things to come. And I got to praying and saying, Father, I really don't see things to come the way that I should. I know the way that you have provided. So I started asking God, and one of the first things He spoke to me, He says, you're going to need a new pasture for your horses. AND, YOU KNOW, I HAVEN'T HAD HORSES IN THE LAST uh, PROBABLY DECADE OR MAYBE TWO DECADES. IT'S BEEN A LONG TIME I GOT RID OF MY HORSES. BUT ANYWAY, uh, BACK THEN, IF YOU WERE TO STABLE A HORSE, YOU HAD TO PAY OVER $100, MAYBE $150 PER HORSE. AND FOR FIVE HORSES, MAN, THAT WOULD HAVE BEEN $750 A MONTH. AND I JUST COULDN'T AFFORD THAT. AND THIS GUY WAS LETTING ME USE HIS PROPERTY FREE. AND THE LORD TOLD ME, YOU'RE GOING TO NEED A NEW PLACE. AND I JUST STARTED PRAYING ABOUT IT, SAYING, GOD, IS THAT YOU? AND I REALLY FELT LIKE THIS IS SOMETHING GOD SPOKE TO ME. IT WAS GOD'S VOICE. AND SO I WAS LOOKING AND PRAYING ABOUT IT, AND I HAD A MAN COME SHOE MY HORSES FOR ME, AND AS HE WAS SHOEING MY HORSES, HE SAYS, YOU KNOW, I'VE GOT 40 ACRES OR SOMETHING LIKE THIS, AND HE SAYS, IF YOU EVER NEED A PLACE TO PUT YOUR HORSES, YOU'RE WELCOME TO KEEP THEM THERE FREE. AND WHEN HE SAID THAT, I SAID, WELL, NOW THAT YOU MENTION IT, GOD TOLD ME THAT I'M GOING TO NEED A NEW PLACE. SO I HAD ALREADY AGREED, AND I THINK IT WAS ON EITHER TUESDAY OR WEDNESDAY OF THE NEXT WEEK, I HAD ALREADY AGREED TO MOVE MY HORSES TO THIS MAN'S PROPERTY. WHEN I GOT TO CHURCH ON SUNDAY, THIS MAN WHO OWNED THE PROPERTY WHERE MY HORSES WERE CURRENTLY, HE JUST CAME UP TO ME WITHOUT ANY WARNING. HE HAD NEVER GIVEN ME ANY INDICATION. AND HE SAID, I CAN'T STAND THOSE HORSES ON MY PROPERTY ANY LONGER. YOU'VE GOT TO HAVE THEM GONE BY WEDNESDAY OF THIS WEEK. DID YOU KNOW IF THE LORD HADN'T HAVE SPOKEN TO ME, IF I HADN'T HAVE BEEN AWARE OF THIS, IF I HAD NOT HAVE PREPARED, I MIGHT HAVE HAD TO GO OUT AND PAY SOMEBODY $750, uh, YOU KNOW, FOR A WHILE UNTIL I COULD FIND A PLACE. BUT GOD HAD ALREADY SPOKEN TO ME. I TOLD THIS GUY, I SAID, LOOK, IT'S NO PROBLEM. I'M MOVING MY HORSES ON TUESDAY. I THINK IT WAS A DAY BEFORE HE GAVE ME A DEADLINE. AND THAT'S A SMALL THING, AND SOME PEOPLE MAY THINK THAT THAT'S NOT THAT IMPORTANT IN THE SCHEME OF ALL OF LIFE'S THINGS. BUT IF YOU CAN'T HEAR GOD IN A SMALL THING, YOU WON'T HEAR HIM IN GREATER THINGS. IT TAKES FAITH TO HEAR THE VOICE OF GOD. AND I'M GOING TO BE SHARING SOME OF THESE THINGS WITH YOU AND GOING INTO A LOT MORE DETAIL. BUT THAT'S JUST AN EXAMPLE THAT THE LORD WOULD TELL YOU YOU KNOW, when, WHEN SOMETHING NEEDS TO BE DONE. THERE'S TIMES THAT GOD HAS JUST SPOKEN TO ME SO MANY THINGS THAT IN HINDSIGHT, I LOOKED AT IF I HADN'T HAVE ALREADY KNOWN IT, IT WOULD HAVE BEEN A PROBLEM, AND YET GOD PREPARED ME FOR IT, AND BECAUSE I WAS PREPARED, THERE WAS JUST NO PROBLEM ASSOCIATED WITH IT. GOD HAS SAVED MY LIFE BY SPEAKING THINGS TO ME IN ADVANCE, AND I'M TELLING YOU, IT'S JUST INDISPENSABLE TO BE ABLE TO HEAR THE VOICE OF GOD, AND YET THE AVERAGE CHRISTIAN IS LIVING THEIR LIFE ON THEIR OWN. THEY'RE LEANING UNDER THEIR OWN UNDERSTANDING. PROVERBS CHAPTER 3, VERSE 5 SAYS, TRUST IN THE LORD WITH ALL OF YOUR HEART AND LEAN NOT UNTO YOUR OWN UNDERSTANDING. IN ALL OF YOUR WAYS ACKNOWLEDGE HIM AND HE SHALL DIRECT YOUR PATHS. AND IT DOESN'T HAPPEN JUST SOVEREIGNLY, BUT HE WILL DIRECT YOUR PATHS BY SPEAKING TO YOU AND SHOWING YOU THE WAY THAT YOU'RE SUPPOSED TO GO. IN PSALMS CHAPTER 32, IT TALKS ABOUT DON'T BE AS A HORSE OR AS A MULE WHOSE MOUTH MUST BE HELD IN WITH BIT AND BRIDLE. AND AGAIN, SOMETIMES PEOPLE THAT AREN'T FAMILIAR WITH HORSES, THEY DON'T UNDERSTAND. BUT A HORSE, YOU CAN CONTROL THAT ENTIRE BODY THROUGH PUTTING A BRIDLE IN THEIR MOUTH. BUT IT CAUSES PAIN IS THE WAY THAT IT HAPPENS. AND THIS IS SAYING, DON'T BE LIKE THAT, THAT YOU ONLY RESPOND TO GOD ONCE YOU RUN INTO SOMETHING AND YOU EXPERIENCE PAIN. DON'T BE LIKE A PERSON THAT ONLY HEARS FROM GOD ONCE YOU'VE ALREADY FAILED AND YOU'VE ALREADY MESSED UP IN SOMETHING. DON'T BE LIKE A HORSE OR A MULE WHOSE MOUTH MUST BE HELD IN WITH BIT AND BRIDLE, BUT YOU WILL HEAR A WORD BEHIND YOU SAYING, THIS IS THE WAY. WALK THOU IN IT. DID YOU KNOW GOD IS SAYING YOU DON'T HAVE TO WAIT UNTIL YOU EXPERIENCE PAIN. YOU DON'T HAVE TO LEARN THROUGH HARD KNOCKS. YOU CAN HAVE GOD SPEAK TO YOU AND SHOW YOU THINGS TO COME. AND HE CAN DIRECT YOU. AND THAT IS MUCH, MUCH, MUCH BETTER. AND YET AGAIN, THE AVERAGE CHRISTIAN IS NOT LIKE JESUS IS TALKING ABOUT HERE TO WHERE THEY HEAR HIS VOICE AND THE VOICE OF A STRANGER THEY WILL NOT FOLLOW. THE AVERAGE CHRISTIAN HAS TROUBLE HEARING GOD'S VOICE. AGAIN, NOT BECAUSE GOD ISN'T SPEAKING, NOT BECAUSE YOU DON'T HAVE THE CAPACITY 
BUT BECAUSE WE ARE TUNED IN TO THE WRONG CHANNEL, WE'VE GOT SO MUCH NOISE FROM THIS WORLD, FROM THIS UNGODLINESS THAT IS COMING AT US THAT IT'S JUST OVERWHELMING THE VOICE OF GOD. BUT I'M GOING TO BE SHARING SOME THINGS WITH YOU THAT I BELIEVE ARE REALLY GOING TO HELP YOU. AND AGAIN, I'VE GOT THIS LITTLE BOOK ENTITLED THE FOUR BASICS OF HEARING GOD'S VOICE. LET ME JUST GIVE YOU A LITTLE TEASE WHAT THIS TEACHING IS ABOUT, uh, AND THEN I'LL GO INTO GREATER DETAIL. BUT THE FIRST LEVEL OF HEARING GOD'S VOICE IS YOUR CONSCIENCE. AND BOY, A LOT OF PEOPLE DO NOT EVEN ACKNOWLEDGE THIS AND THEY VIOLATE THEIR CONSCIENCE. IF YOU VIOLATE YOUR CONSCIENCE, WHY SHOULD GOD TAKE YOU TO THE NEXT LEVEL IF YOU AREN'T ALREADY OBEYING WHAT HE'S SAYING TO YOU? THE SECOND LEVEL THAT I'VE LISTED HERE IS THE WORD OF GOD. GOD WILL SPEAK TO YOU THROUGH HIS WORD, AND HE GIVES YOU VERY SPECIFIC DIRECTION THROUGH HIS WORD. AND AGAIN, IF YOU AREN'T LISTENING TO YOUR CONSCIENCE AND IF YOU AREN'T LISTENING TO THE WORD OF GOD, THOSE ARE THE FOUNDATIONAL, BASIC WAYS THAT GOD SPEAKS TO ALL OF US. WELL, THEN WHY WOULD GOD BE OBLIGATED TO SPEAK TO YOU IN ANY MORE SPECIFIC WAYS THAN THAT IF YOU AREN'T ALREADY FOLLOWING WHAT THE WORD OF GOD AND WHAT YOUR CONSCIENCE SAYS? THE THIRD THING I'M GOING TO TALK ABOUT IS THAT WHEN YOU GET BORN AGAIN, GOD SPEAKS TO YOU SPIRIT TO SPIRIT. IT SAYS IN 1 CORINTHIANS CHAPTER 6, VERSE 17, HE THAT IS JOINED UNTO THE LORD IS ONE SPIRIT. AND THAT GREEK WORD FOR ONE THERE IS HES, H-E-I-S, AND IT MEANS A SINGULAR ONE TO THE EXCLUSION OF ANOTHER. SO GOD JUST SPEAKS TO YOU SPIRIT TO SPIRIT, AND IT'S NOT IN WORDS ALL OF THE TIME. SOMETIMES IT'S JUST PERCEPTION. YOU JUST KNOW THINGS. YOU HAVE AN UNCTION FROM THE HOLY ONE AND YOU KNOW ALL THINGS. THAT'S WHAT IT SAYS IN 1 JOHN CHAPTER 2. THIS IS TALKING ABOUT THE BORN AGAIN SPIRIT, AND YOUR SPIRIT JUST KNOWS THINGS. 1 CORINTHIANS 2.16 SAYS THAT YOU HAVE THE MIND OF CHRIST. COLOSSIANS CHAPTER 3, VERSE 10 SAYS, PUT ON THE NEW MAN, WHICH AFTER GOD is IS RENEWED IN KNOWLEDGE AFTER THE IMAGE OF HIM THAT CREATED HIM. SO YOU'VE GOT THE MIND OF CHRIST. YOU'VE GOT A RENEWED KNOWLEDGE. YOU HAVE AN UNCTION, AND YOU JUST KNOW THINGS. YOUR SPIRIT KNOWS THINGS, AND uh, THAT NEEDS SOME EXPLANATION, BUT WE'RE GOING TO BE TALKING ABOUT HOW YOU CAN BE LED BY YOUR BORN-AGAIN SPIRIT THAT IS IN COMMUNION WITH GOD. AND THEN THE LAST THING I'LL TALK ABOUT IS HOW THE HOLY SPIRIT CAN SPEAK TO YOU AND GIVE YOU DIRECTION. THROUGH THE HOLY SPIRIT, I'VE ACTUALLY HAD THE HOLY SPIRIT TELL ME PEOPLE'S NAMES BEFORE, PEOPLE THAT I'VE NEVER SEEN BEFORE. AND I'VE WALKED UP AND SAID, YOUR NAME IS. I'VE HAD GOD SPEAK SPECIFIC THINGS TO ME. AND THERE'S LOTS OF EXAMPLES IN THE BIBLE OF JESUS WALKING UNDER A TREE. AND HE LOOKED UP AND SAW ZACCHAEUS. AND HE SAID, ZACCHAEUS, COME DOWN, BECAUSE TODAY I'M GOING TO GO EAT AT YOUR HOUSE. HE CALLED OUT ZACCHAEUS' NAME. HE KNEW THINGS ABOUT ZACCHAEUS. AND 1 CORINTHIANS CHAPTER 12 THROUGH 14 TALKS ABOUT GIFTS OF THE SPIRIT, A WORD OF WISDOM, A WORD OF KNOWLEDGE, AND HOW THAT YOU CAN HAVE A DISCERNING OF SPIRITS, AND YOU CAN KNOW THINGS THROUGH THE POWER OF THE HOLY SPIRIT. SO THESE ARE THE FOUR BASIC WAYS, AND I'M GOING TO TALK ABOUT HOW GOD SPEAKS TO US, BUT TODAY IS BASICALLY JUST INTRODUCTION, SAYING THAT ALL OF US HAVE GOD SPEAK TO US CONSTANTLY. GOD IS NOT DISTANT. GOD IS NOT UNATTACHED THE WAY THAT MANY PEOPLE FEEL. YOU KNOW, EVERY TIME I TEACH ON THIS, I'LL HAVE PEOPLE COME UP AND THEY SAY, MAN, YOU'RE TALKING ABOUT HEARING GOD'S VOICE, AND YOU SAY THAT GOD SPOKE TO YOU ABOUT THIS, AND GOD TOLD YOU THIS, AND YOU SAY that ALL OF THESE THINGS ABOUT HOW YOU HEAR GOD'S VOICE. YOU SAY, I NEVER HEAR GOD'S VOICE. AND THEN THEY'LL TURN AROUND AND SAY, AND THE DEVIL TELLS ME I'M NEVER GOING TO HEAR GOD'S VOICE. AND THE DEVIL SAID THIS, AND THE DEVIL SAID THAT. THEY CAN HEAR THE DEVIL JUST FINE, BUT THEY CAN'T HEAR GOD. DID YOU KNOW THE SAME PART OF YOU THAT HEARS FROM THE DEVIL ALSO IS THE SAME PART THAT HEARS FROM GOD? IT'S JUST A MATTER OF TUNING YOURSELF. MOST OF US ARE PLUGGED INTO THE WORLD. WE ARE LISTENING TO THE CHANNELS THAT SATAN IS BROADCASTING OVER INSTEAD OF LISTENING TO THE CHANNELS THAT GOD SPEAKS TO US THROUGH. BUT THE TRUTH IS, GOD IS SPEAKING CONSTANTLY. YOU HAVE THE ABILITY TO HEAR FROM GOD. IT IS NOT GOD THAT'S NOT SPEAKING. IT'S NOT YOU THAT DOESN'T HAVE THE ABILITY. IT'S JUST A MATTER OF TUNING YOURSELF. IT'S A MATTER OF LIKE I WAS USING FROM PROVERBS CHAPTER 4, PRICKING UP THE EARS, INCLINING YOUR EARS TO WHERE YOU CAN HEAR THE VOICE OF GOD. DID YOU KNOW WHEN I WAS IN VIETNAM, I WAS ON A FIRE SUPPORT BASE, AND I LIVED IN A BUNKER THAT I BUILT. AND RIGHT NEXT TO MY BUNKER, UP ABOVE ME, WAS A 155 Um, 
um, I don't know what you call it. It was a artillery piece, and it shot these rounds, one five five rounds. And those things, when they shot, it would just—I mean, it would bounce you nearly off the ground. It was deafening. Plus, we had a generator that ran all the electricity that was on the hill, and that was up by me. So there was just constant noise. Plus, there was always explosions going off on bunker guard. One minute every hour of the night. Uh, people would just, on the hour, they would fire their weapons down the hill. They would throw a hand grenade or two. Just in case there was somebody coming up the hill, you would just blow them away, whether you could see them or recognize it or not. So one hour, one minute out of every hour during the night, there were all these explosions. Plus, during the day, you had 50 caliber rounds. Yet, yeah, anyway, my point is, there was just always noise. There was always explosions. And did you know, I got used to it so that I just tuned it out. And I literally slept through an attack. This wasn't an enemy attack, but one of our UE uh, Cobra helicopters asked for grid coordinates to pra practice firing, and they gave them the wrong grid coordinates, and that uh, chopper came through our hill and fired these 50 caliber rounds, which if a 50 caliber round came within six inches of your ear, it could kill you by the concussion, whether it touched you or not. These things were just amazing. And he literally came through my bunker. I was asleep on a cot and I had, uh, I had six, tuba, two tuba sixes that were there. Um, well, I, I didn't say that right, but anyway, there was a foot of lumber and then two feet of sandbags on top of that to protect us. And those 50 caliber rounds went through two feet of sandbags, one foot of lumber, and it went right beside my uh, uh, cot and uh, into the ground. And I don't know, there was 50 rounds or something that went through my bunker. I slept through the whole thing. They had to come tell me about it the next morning and I had to look and I could see the holes and I dug up one of those rounds it went into the ground. But my point is, see, I slept through it. It wasn't that I couldn't hear it, but it, you can tune your hearing. And it just, I just got to where I could uh, tune out all of those things because they were normal. But did you know if somebody would have opened up the door to my bunker and stepped on one of those ammo boxes that I had as a floor, I'd have heard the creak and I'd have instantly woke up like that. You can tune your hearing to hear the slightest little noise of something. Like you could be in the flight path of a, a airport and tune out all of that noise, and yet you hear your little baby cough one time, and boy, you're just up. You can tune your hearing. And this is what I'm gonna be sharing with you, is how you can hear God's voice. And I think this will really help you. We're offering this book free of charge, and this is just a summary of those things. And specifically, I'm offering this week the book entitled, Who Told You That You Were Naked? You may not see the correlation, but this is going to amplify on what I'm teaching this week, talking about the conscience, and I believe it would be a real blessing to you. So listen to our announcer as he gives you more information about how to receive these materials. And I promise you, this would help you. We're making this little booklet free of charge, so there's no reason for you not to respond. Please listen to our announcer and then call or write today to request the materials and join me again tomorrow as I continue this teaching on the four basics to hearing God's voice. You know, I'm sure that many of you recognize that, man, our world is in a crisis situation. It seems like it's going the wrong direction in a hurry. And sometimes it's frustrating, wondering what can I do about it? Well, instead of just cursing the darkness, we're turning on a light and we are sharing the Word of God and we are seeing lives changed through our Karis Bible Colleges. And we have over 12,000 people who have graduated. They literally are on every continent of this world making a difference but we just need to do more. We actually turned people away last year. We had over a thousand people who applied that didn't show up. And when we contacted them, 550 of them said it was because they couldn't find housing in this local area. So we are in the process of building out student housing. We also are gonna be building a student activity center that'll have a cafeteria for 1,100 people. We'll also have additional classrooms, all kinds of facilities that we need. We're building out a student athletic center, hotel and conference center, a performing arts center. 
There's just a lot of things and it's gonna cost a lot of money. I would like to ask you if you would like to help make a difference instead of just be frustrated if you wanna invest and do something, we need people to become foundation builders with us. If you would go to awmi.net slash campus, you would see a flyover that our architects have produced. It would show you these facilities. There's also a place there where you can become a foundation builder. We leave the amount up to you. If you would just join with us on a monthly basis, we could get this done and we need to get it done quickly to accommodate. So please check it out. And if the Lord speaks to you, join with us and become a foundation builder. And together we are making a difference that is gonna change the world we live in. The moment you believe your healing is done and it's just a matter of time until whatever the symptoms are, are gone. You observe what Jesus did and try in your mind and say, I'm making a judgment that Jesus paid the price for me. We focus on what the doctors can do for us more than what God can do for us. Say, God is my healer, not the doctor. Andrew is offering his booklet, Four Basics of Hearing God's Voice, as his free gift to you today. This booklet is limited to one free booklet per household and is available in the US, UK, Canada, and Australia. Contact us today to receive your free booklet. Andrew's complete series, Four Basics of Hearing God's Voice, is available in a CD or TV DVD album and as a USB made from our daily television broadcast. This teaching is also available as a DVD album or USB recorded live at a ministry event. Each of these valuable resources is available for a gift of any amount when you contact us. This entire series is also available for audio download absolutely free from our website. Also on today's broadcast, Andrew mentioned his book, who told you that you were naked? This book is available in English or Spanish for a gift of any amount when you contact us. We also want to remind you of Andrew's Living Commentary software. The Living Commentary includes more than 50 years of Andrew's Bible study notes and personal encounters with God. Get Andrew's Living Commentary today for $120. We want to say a special thank you to the Grace Partners of Andrew Womack Ministries. Your gifts make it possible to put free ministry materials into the hands of many people in need. If you're not already a Grace Partner, we ask you to pray about becoming one today. You can become a Grace Partner through our website at awmi.net. While there, you can discover more product details and download additional free resources. You can also order resources or receive prayer by calling our helpline at 719-635-1111. Our helpline is open 24 hours a day, seven days a week. To write us, use the address on your screen. We appreciate your generosity and hope to hear from you today.